always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, folks in Kalamazoo had the chance to see if their gutters are working or not today, but we do still have plenty of warm weather for anything you want to get done outside. Let's show you uh, out at Allendale. We have skies that are clearing out nicely this evening. We were overcast through much of the day. That is obviously changing and will continue to change. And we really aren't anticipating any overcast days this upcoming week. Lots of sunshine going to take hold, produce some beautiful weather for us with temperatures that are eventually going to be back above average. Out of the Ford Airport, we still do see some clouds, but they have been clearing out nicely over the last few hours. Storm Track Live shows predominantly dry conditions here in the Grand Rapids area. We continue to see a few showers down along I-94 toward the Battle Creek area. Flood advisory does remain in effect for Kalamazoo and Portage. We have a stray shower that's about to hit the west side of Battle Creek. Heavy rain prompted a flood warning in Kalamazoo and Portage earlier today, but that has since come to an end. In fact, a few areas over there saw upwards of two to three inches of rain. Very, very little rain expected here in the coming week. In fact, our best chance of rain is just a measly 20%, and that's just for a stray shower. Very little rain expected here over the next week. Future cast shows skies continue to clear this evening and overnight. Rain showers come to an end. We could see a bit of patchy fog heading into the early morning hours of Monday. But sunshine should rule the day with only some passing high-level clouds. That's going to be true for us as we head into Tuesday as well. The clear skies at night do mean that we are expecting temperatures to tumble quite a bit. But we do make nice recovery into the afternoon and it gets better each day. For now, we're only seeing temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70. 67 in Grand Rapids, 70 degrees in Muskegon, which is several degrees below average for this time of year. Main reason for that, while we have winds out of the north in the wake of that cold front, anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour this evening. You can certainly see the cooler air situated here, uh, mid-50s in parts of the UP and northern Canada. But notice the warm air off to our west. We have a low-pressure system moving across northern Canada that's dragging up some warm air, and we're going to get in on that for really the foreseeable future. Future cast through tonight shows we do have a cool night in store. Morning temperature is likely going to range from the upper 40s to perhaps as high as the low 50s. We don't make much recovery during the afternoon. In fact, high temperatures will be stuck in the mid-60s for many of us. We do cool off a bit more heading into Tuesday, lows generally in the mid to upper 40s. But by the time we get to noon Tuesday, we'll already be seeing temperatures as warm as we'll see tomorrow. So we do continue to make progress day by day, and pretty soon we'll be seeing highs above average. Sunrise tomorrow, 725, sunset 747. We're losing about three minutes of daylight a day. Throughout the day, we'll see temperatures in the 60s with plenty of sunshine. Your eight-day forecast shows highs up near 70 degrees for Tuesday, upper 70s for Wednesday, 80 degrees beginning Thursday, continuing through Saturday. Our next chance of rain, even worth mentioning, doesn't arrive until next Monday. So a beautiful stretch of weather is ahead for us, Amanda. Yeah, this week looks great. Yes, it does. Thanks, Blake.